We enjoyed an active, healthy lifestyle. We love to golf, tennis, workout, hiking. We love to travel. If you were to ask my family and friends, our inner circle, they would all say that I was probably the healthiest person in, in our circle. But Allison O'Neill knew something was wrong when a bump on her right cheek wouldn't go away. And they thought it was a clogged oil gland. She asked for a biopsy, and the result changed her life. Initially, it came back as non-aggressive cancer. When she came to Mayo Clinic to have it removed, a more in-depth biopsy revealed angiosarcoma, an aggressive, potentially deadly cancer of the blood vessels. The rug just comes out from underneath you, and, and the life that I had led before was never going to be the same. When you're faced with mortality, it's such a surprise. And in that moment, what you want to live for is the people that you love most. Dr. Brittany Howard, a head and neck surgeon, suggested they remove it immediately to improve chances of survival. We took off approximately the size of a baseball off of her right cheek as far as the actual diameter of a circle goes, and then all the way down to the facial muscles. Next came the challenge of healing the wound and rebuilding her cheek using skin from her face, neck, and collarbone. Even when you have someone who's had their entire face and neck rearranged, has well over a hundred stitches, the strength of the human spirit is the one thing that just consistently always comes through. She was amazing. Hyaluronic acid injections were the first steps toward restoring the natural fullness of her face. You reach a breaking point. You hit a wall and you want to stop. And Dr. Howard told me at one of those points, she said, you know, Allison, the body has amazing abilities to heal. Allison had a type of laser treatment known as broadband light therapy to regenerate the skin. Lasers are used to reduce redness and help transferred skin blend naturally. We use some wavelengths targeted at the color change in her skin, the browns that we see, some that are targeted at the blood vessels because she has more pink in her skin now in these areas from radiation. You're actually resetting the cells to a younger state where they're expressing younger genes, producing younger proteins, and acting like younger skin. Allison considers her recovery a work in progress. She hopes her story of survival will encourage others. I've been blessed beyond measure with my husband and I wanted to live life to the fullest with him. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Susan Buckles.